This is code.org. I'm currently working on CS principles. Their data tools unit, lesson 11, deleting records, part two. Records have unique IDs. Let's take a brief moment to explain record IDs. In the data viewer, you may have noticed each record in the table has an ID. The property is lowercase ID. It's the first column of the table. Yep, except it's not lowercase there. Okay. Um, each record gets assigned a unique ID by the database the moment it's added for the first time. That ID will not be used by another record. The IDs are created to, and managed by the database. You cannot change them. A record's ID is the only way to reliably identify it in the database. Even if your database stores 100 copies of the name Bob, each would have a unique ID. IDs are essential for, database, for a database to function. This is why you cannot edit the ID of the record in the data viewer. 3. A record's ID is included with the object when you get it back from the database. Interesting. Rank 1. Oh yeah, at the end here. A record's ID is included with the object when you get back from the database. The code below reco reads records from the database and displays the first object returned. You can see that the ID of the record is included as part of the object at the very end there. Huh. Because the IDs is part of the object, you can refer to it like you would any other property using dot notation. Here's an example that just displays the ID of an object. Yep. Right, so at index zero, that would be the first thing in the array. Get the ID and display it. The ID property of the object is required for writing code to delete and update records. Ah, we need it for deletion and update. Okay, so we're going to use it. Now that you know about IDs, let's take a look at how to delete records with code. Sounds good.